there, we're in our tomato hoop house. And we're at the time of year where we come through and we detop our plants. Um, you see these are loaded and they're still producing nicely. This one already got detopped. Probably when I was training it, the top broke off on me, which happens occasionally. Um, but what I do, so this here, this next plant, see the top coming down? We're into the time of year when even if fruit would come on, there's a good chance it might get cold enough and that fruit's not gonna ripen anyways. So instead of the plant putting all that energy into tomatoes that aren't gonna fruit, um, we're taking that off so it can focus just on the tomatoes that are on there. And what that allows us to do, those plants will not be demanding as much from the soil because all it's doing is filling out the tomatoes it has now. It's not adding new growth and new tomatoes. So once we do this, then it allows us to interplant underneath. So we'll come through. We, we, won't, we don't have to interplant quite yet because um, we're still getting some lettuce in outside of the hoop house. But probably in the next week or two, I'll come through, put a nice fresh layer of compost and wood chips in the walkways, and then we'll start interplanting our late lettuces in here. Um, a lot of times we'll do beets, and the beets normally would be co going in about right now, um, but we had room somewhere else for our beets, so we're gonna try lettuces here. And lettuce isn't very demanding, um, so it shouldn't compete with the tomatoes, and the tomatoes shouldn't compete with the lettuce. Um, so I just maximize our space, and I can show you real quick how I do this. See where I stopped. I did that one already. So this one, <laughs> be interesting how, if you could go straight up, how tall these plants would get. Because but, these are indeterminate. Yeah, these are indeterminate, so they just keep going. I mean, this would probably be about 15, 16 feet if it was going straight up. So these, these are fine. I want to keep those. These will probably all fruit. So I just come and I snip. I like to leave a little bit, if, if I can, some leaves just because those might help shade these fruit from the sun so they don't turn green, they don't have green shoulders. And while I do this, I go through and take any suckers that I see, because if I don't, those will just keep growing and I don't want that. That's a different one. Okay, so here's the tip. I probably will leave this just in case. So that's the stopping point. So I may have to come through another time or two just to take out suckers. Um, but most importantly right now, I just want to snip the top of the plant. So here's my top. I'm going to leave that cluster there. These are already starting to form some tomatoes, so those will probably have time to fruit. A lot of, a lot of people do it towards the end of August, but if, if you have a warm fall and your tomatoes do happen to go a little bit longer, um, and we like to wait a little bit just to make sure that we're not cutting them off too early. Because for us, we don't, I mean, we don't, well, the winter growing isn't huge for us, so we don't need to get these plants out and get our winter crops in. We have enough space in other sections to plant a lot of those crops. We'd rather have, We'd rather tomatoes, have tomatoes for longer. as long as we yeah. can. Yep. But this, yeah, this, it keeps the plant from putting on new fruit, but it also keeps the canopy more open. Because if I let that keep growing, this would become more and more of a jungle. And then when you plant underneath, there would be too much shade. Especially once you get into October, November, if your plants are still in there and they're shading, sun, sunlight's getting pretty precious that time of year. So you want to keep the foliage down, which detopping helps to do. And then I'll also probably come through and take more leaves off. And so yeah, these, another thing you have to watch for is all this, a lot of times you'll have new shoots coming close to the ground. Like this one here is coming. But, yep. I just let it lay on the ground. If I prune and there's a bunch, I'll collect it. But other than that, a lot of these new shoots don't have disease or anything anyway. So I just let it decompose there. Yep, that's what I'm doing today. So just part of managing tomatoes in a hoop house. Until next time, eat well, live well.